how to perform Monte Carlo simulation in a regression analysis. Monte Carlo simulation generates random values for dependent variable. In this study, we are using sales versus advertising. Here sales is the dependent variable. And for performing Monte Carlo simulation, we must know regression coefficients and distribution of random variable. Here, the random variable is epsilon whose distribution is normal. The purpose of experiment is to find the confidence interval of regression coefficients and sampling distribution. The sampling distribution of regression coefficient. Here in this Excel sheet, we have two variable advertising and sales whose values are given in these two columns in green color. So using these two variables or these two columns, we will find the slope of regression uh, of sales over advertising using the formula given here. And uh, similarly, we will find the intercept. These two formulas are given in the Excel. After that, we will find sales hat using these two coefficients and, and advertising. And then this is a random variable column uh, whose distribution is normal. These are normal random variables. And using these epsilon values, we will calculate simulated sale. This simulation sale is not exactly the actual sale, but it is it simulates the actual sales. And with the help of, we have calculated the simulated sale using simulated uh, sales hat and epsilon and using this column of simulation sale we have calculated the slope of simulated sale by regressing simulation sale over advertising now we using this slope simulated slope we will find the confidence interval of this slope, this one and we will also find the uh, sampling distribution of this slope as well but before that you can observe here that that whenever we do some change here in this random variable look at here these values get changed let me show you again so these values keep on changing and in the same way the slope simulator sale will also keep on changing so using this pattern we will do the Monte Carlo simulation and perform that simulation 10,000 times so let's see how we can perform that so first click this cell because we are interested to do a simulation on this cell and go add in and then press this MC sim and the link of this add-in is given in the description of the video now you can observe here this is G9 cell this is G9 cell we are performing simulation over here and I will use 10,000 times or 1,000 times it's up to you let me use this one demonstration purpose 1,000 times and please click this record all selected cell so this will show you all the thousand time thousand values in the new sheet otherwise it will show you only hundred values hundred cells press this proceed now we have two new sheets so here we have a summary and this is the histogram which is which is representing the sampling distribution of the slope and here the average value of of this slope is 0.65 you can observe this exactly same 0.65 this is exactly same 0.65 and here the minimum and maximum value of this column is given here but you can observe here and this is repeated 1000 times and it took just two seconds and you can observe from this column that only only 100 repetitions are given to find 
all the thousand repetition so which are given here in this sheet over here so no cal no we are going to calculate what is the confidence interval 95 percent confidence confidence interval of this this slope so to calculate 95 percent confidence interval so if so we first select this whole column and then we will sort it out from smallest to the largest and now we first calculate what is the percentile uh, it is 95 percent so it means uh, we, we have to left 2.5 percent on left side and 2.5 percent on the right side so 2.5 plus 2.5 it is 5 percent so we have to calculate first uh, 2 point percentile percentile inclusive so it will take this whole column and because we are interested the first 2.5 percent so which will which is 0 0.025 This 2.5 percent so this is the 2.5 percent time and then we will calculate uh, 100 minus 2.5 which is 97.5 percent so it is percentile again we will calculate this whole column we will put comma here and 0 0.97 which is 97 so this is our 95 percent confidence confidence interval of slope 95 percent confidence interval of slope of regression it is from 0 0.5 to 0 0.85